Here we're asked to graph the line y equals 4x. One thing I want to point out is that in order to draw the line, you're going to need to find two points. And here's why. If I have one point, there's a whole bunch of different lines that can pass through that point. And we don't want that. We want a unique line. If I had two points like this, there's only one line that can actually pass through those two points. So for this problem, anytime you or any problem they ask you to graph a line, all you have to do is come up with two points. I'm going to create a table. It's going to say X and Y. And that's going to be where I organize my answers. And like I said before, we need two points. So this is going to represent my point. Each ordered pair is a point. So I'm going to set it up to find my two points. And the numbers that I'm going to pick are pretty much any numbers as long as they can fit on the graph. If you look at the x-axis, which is this right here, it goes from 0 to 9, and then from 0 to negative 9. So you want to pick numbers that fall within the graph. And the easiest number I like to pick whenever I can is 0, so I'm going to pick that for my x value. And another number I can pick is also 1. And once I find my outputs, I'll have my two points. So the first thing I do is write down the equation it gave me, y equals 4x. And then I'm going to substitute my x value, 0, in place of x. And I can see here it says y is equal to 4 times 0. 4 times 0 is 0. So my output is 0. So when x is 0, y comes out to be 0. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other point. Write down my equation, y equals 4x. Replace x with the second x value I made up, which is 1. 4 times 1 is 4. And then I'm going to put that here for my output. So when x is 1, y is 4. And now I have my two points. Next thing I do is just plot the two points on the graph. So I hit the pencil tool here. Go to the point 0, 0, which is right here at the center. And click there. And then the other point is 1, 4. So I go right 1, up 4, put a point there. Now I have my two points. I just got to draw my line. So I click on the line tool. And then I click on each point, and then I have my line. Here we're asked to graph the line y equals 3 halves x. If you notice, in this problem we have a fraction. It's not much difference. The only thing you have to pay attention to is the numbers you pick. So let's start it off the same way we did the other problem. You're going to create your xy table. And again, we only need two points. So I'm going to pick my two points. And as usual, I'm going to pick 0 because 0 is an easy number to evaluate and then the next number I'm gonna pick usually I would pick 1 but I know that if I take a fraction in this case 3 halves and multiply by 1 I'm gonna end up with a fraction so my recommendation is when you're dealing with fractions is to pick a number that is a multiple of your denominator that way your answer will not be a fraction so multiple meaning you could pick 2 4 6 8 10, 12, so on and so forth. So any of those numbers. And again, pick the numbers so that it fits on your graph when you plot your point. And in this case, the smallest multiple of 2 is going to be 2 itself. And now all I have to do is do the work out. So y equals 3 halves x. And I'm going to substitute 0 in the first example. And I know that any number times 0 is going to be equal to 0. So the output for that one is 0. And I need one more when x is 2. So I rewrite the equation. y equals 3 halves x. I replace x with the value 2. And if I have 2 of 3 halves, it's the same thing as saying like 3 halves plus 3 halves, which is 6 halves. And 6 halves simplifies to the value 3. So when x is 2, the answer is 3. And this is what I was talking about before where if you pick a multiple of your denominator, which in this case is 2, your answer will not be a fraction. Now in this case, I'm going to plot my two points now. So I'm going to select the pencil tool. I'm going to plot the point 0, 0. And then 2, 3, which is right 2, up 3. Put my point there. And then I draw my line. And that's it.